Hello, hello, hello. I am so excited to be at the first of our six city tour, the Freedom Road Show. At this point in time in history is like the perfect time to start this. The Freedom Road Show was created to get out there and change the world. We can talk all we want on YouTube and get so much of the message across, but being in the middle of it, shaking hands, giving hugs, addressing a live audience where you're actually meeting real human beings is the best. That's the way to really communicate. So that's why we decided to put the road show together and get out on the road and meet a lot of people and get a lot of new ideas from people who both speak at our events and the audience. The audience questions is, is one of the most valuable things. And we get a on the ground view of what these people are thinking and which way the movement is going. And as far as I can tell, it's getting stronger and stronger every day. So the Freedom Roadshow is an example of what happens when a bunch of like-minded individuals, we all come together on freedom, sovereignty, financial independence. When we all get together on these roadshows, changes occur. We're doing everything in our power to be part of the solution, part of the plan. And that personally for me, it's enough. It makes me feel like what we're doing is enough. It's good enough. And the people who come out by showing up, you're making a declaration through action, through choice, through willpower to create the world that you want to live in. These are the conversations you want to have. These are the kind of people you want to meet. Then you show up, show up and watch what happens. Met so many wonderful people in cryptocurrency. So many like-minded people are drawn together. Yeah, there's something magical about it, something spiritual about it. It just, it, I always say it's like that lighthouse, man. It's out there shining and all these wandering boats are like, what is going on? What is wrong with this world? And it like calls us all together. And then we meet, we have these meetups. And that's why getting out on the road is so very important because it absolutely validates people. There are so many people I talk to in cryptocurrency when I go to these meetups that they don't have any support at home. They don't have any support from their friends. They can't talk to anybody. And we have this conversation. There's nobody to talk to that understands this stuff. And it's just almost like they're shut down. But there's this like this remnant of people out there. And we're just trying to find each other, you know, find that light that's shining. And we go to these meetups and we find each other. And, and people are just so overwhelmed and overjoyed and, and, and just thrilled to be able to talk to somebody. And they just want to talk for hours. And, and these meetups are so very important, the face-to-face -face contact, the hugs, the looks in the eye, all of these things. And so that's what invigorates me. That's what gets me excited. I think the meetups are really powerful to dispel the media's narrative. I mean, I think it's biblical. When two or more are gathered, then God's there. The whole And you can call it God, the Holy Spirit, the universe, we're exchanging energy with each other. There's power there because we're all there together and we're sharing truth with each other. That's what's so powerful about these meetups. And we're breaking that spell of the lie of the television. And so I think that's one of the most powerful things of these meetups is that we're breaking their spells. I've done this for a long time and it's a lonely existence being a contrarian. I do believe in the end, as Rick Rule says, if you're not a contrarian in this market, you're going to be a victim. And it's lonely having the beliefs that you do because no one really wants to hear that the sky is falling, that the financial system is crumbling, that the odds are stacked against you, that you have to divest of dollars, that you have to look to alternative forms of wealth like crypto or, or silver or gold. What the message that, that Bix is giving, the message that I'm giving is not about fear mongering. It's about opening your eyes to what's happening and preparing and being able to not just persevere, but also maybe to thrive in an environment where others are going to be caught with their pants down. And for a lot of people, they don't know who to talk to. And they have these, these feelings and they talk to their advisor, they tell them they're crazy, they talk to their friends, they say that they're crazy. I think it's important for people to have a, an outlet, to be able to vent, to be able to talk about their beliefs. And that's one of the nice things about going to, to the roadshow. I think it's cathartic to be able to talk to people who look at the world the same way instead of feeling that you're the only person in the world who has these crazy feelings. But you know what? They're not crazy. They're legit. They're real. And they're getting more real by the day. So I appreciate the ability to have been there and to meet with like-minded people and to share my viewpoint on things. And I'll relish the opportunity to be there again on your next show as you move eastward here towards me in Florida. If you want to change the world, 
You have to get out in it. You're not going to change the world watching a show on YouTube. You may change your life, and I'm all for that. But if you actually want to help other people change their lives and advance yourself in changing your life, you need to actually get to an event like this. This is the perfect event for freedom lovers of all kinds. The reason why is the environment, the aura, is the most soul-healing environment. And I've been to a lot of churches, but when you leave the event, you're sorry you're leaving. You're actually hoping it goes longer. These events are once in a generation events. If you're watching this and you haven't attended one, you're watching this because you need to. When you go to a Bix Weir Freedom Road Show, you walk away a better version of yourself. The road show was great. I really enjoyed it. The camaraderie, you know, because we had Bix was up and then everybody got together and talked and met each other afterwards. And so come to the road show and meet people who think like you that are probably living not too far away from you. So you can meet new friends and new collaborations. And, uh, and it's, it is a nice little community. I think it gives people guidance to where to go. So that they say they're looking around, what do I, what do I need to do? What needs to happen? Well, they can go to Bix and they can learn about, you know, this whole silver and gold manipulation. It also it gives you a certain amount of independence yourself, that you're, you're not dependent directly on the banking system. And so that's independent living because we're going to need that and we're going to need to rebuild. So, you know, and you can either be a victim or you can prosper, but it's all in the mentality up here. And believe me, in every community in town, there is people that think like you. Who, who are isolated and you just need to find those people and uh, kind of start your own little communities because self-help groups, doing it yourself is a certainly, but also working with community. It's more than just, you know, prepping. It's more than just, you know, silver stacking. It's more than, you know, crypto going. It's kind of like a, a whole way of being or a different perspective on things. There's going to be the, you know, the other side of this after this is all over, there's going to be a new world out there. And I think, you know, the sooner you know that's going to happen, the sooner you can kind of navigate to it and, uh, and start building it because there's going to be a lot of people confused out there that are going to be looking for, you know, some sort of guidance and leadership. And uh, I mean, you could be the one because you've already gone through that whole process yourself. People who attend the roadshow, it gets them to meet other people who are, are on the same path or who have just entered the path or who are just curious. And it gets us talking to each other and building a, a larger community, a stronger community and fellowship. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to talk to somebody who kind of thinks this, the same way you do versus having to argue your point constantly with somebody who doesn't believe in what you're saying. The best reason to come to the roadshow is to meet people just like you, people who are thinking that things are wrong, something's wrong. And when you meet other people and you're able to talk to them and converse with them and interact with them, it's refreshing. It's extremely refreshing to be able to speak your mind and have people understand you. We don't get a lot of that these days in our, with our neighbors, with our friends, with our family. So coming to the road show, you're going to be a, amongst a group of people who are thinking very similarly that there is a way we can change things. There is a time for us. For right now is that time. Get out there and, and shake hands, meet people, hear new ideas, and all that stuff plays into a sound foundation. But you're not crazy. If there's one thing I want to tell everybody, you're not crazy for thinking this stuff, uh, thinking that something's wrong. Uh, you are exactly the opposite of crazy. You are, you are finding your individual voice and your individual freedom, and that's so important. Being in person and, and talking to somebody about cryptocurrency, talking about freedom, because that's what really what it is. It's just a, it's a weapon of freedom. It's a monetary weapon of freedom is what cryptocurrency is. And when you have that conversation with somebody and you're able to see them and look them in the eye and you know that their life has changed and they knew inside that they were right. But, you know, having talked to somebody else, it validated them and they knew at that point that, you know what, I am right. Once they feel that by having those conversations, they're on a whole new path, the path that they were born to be on. And if I have any kind of impact that helps somebody wake up and just get on the right path that they're supposed to be on anyway, and, and they feel like, you know what, that's what I needed. 
I've accomplished everything I need to accomplish. You know inside what's true. You know inside what, what is right. Just believe in yourself. And that's really what it comes down to. And that's, that's why I do what I do. I want people to believe in themselves. There's conversations that happen on the side or because you're at a meetup where they just wouldn't happen when you're online or that just naturally occur. And I think, I don't know if that's serendipity or why that happens, but there's also networking opportunities that happen. You know, you're going to be stronger together because you're sharing this time with like-minded individuals. So I think that's another thing that's really beneficial with sharing that time with people. I know for me personally, these road shows change the course of my entire year. You know, I show up, we perform, we meet everybody, we do our thing. And then I leave and it's like, oh my God, like, I feel like I've changed and people have changed me. And I've talked to people, I know they're sitting with that information. So you don't want to miss out because it's worth it every time you might be like, oh man, I'm really, I'm out of my comfort zone here, you know, and I don't know anybody. And am I going to just show up? I'm not even kidding you. People just show up and they don't know why they're there. And then one of us is like, hi, you know, where'd you come from? And they're like, oh, you know, I just, I heard about it from someone. I thought I'd take a chance. And, and then next thing you know, you know, we're just going off about silver and, and the NWO and, and we've got all these solutions and all these ideas. So you really never know, you, you know, you show up to these things and it's like, boom, like, oh, hi, fam. <laughs> it's like that. And if you choose freedom, you choose sovereignty, then the Rose Ruta is your family, too. We've heard people say that they need safe spaces. That, you know, this group needs a safe space. This group needs a safe space. These events are the safest place because the safest place is where you can be you. In an environment of freedom, there's no expectation of you to be anything other than you. Whatever that is, you know, no one at these events judge you on your sexuality, your how you dress, how you look. Everyone values you as you. And that's that's such a freeing experience. Everyone smiles with you and everyone's just happy you're there. And I can't express enough that at this moment, at this time, these events are needed now more than any, any time before. One of the best things about a Freedom Roadshow is we get a bunch of friends to come on stage with us that we've been working with. And uh, we, truthfully, we all met online. And then over time and over going to these events and discussions and Zoom meetings, we've become friends. And it's just amazing to see guys out there and gals out there on the road. All these people that I've interacted with over the internet have become close friends. And to interact with them in live shows is the best and especially to get amongst the people and have the people meet these pe- these other people that are so cool. And each of them has their own niche in life. And that's the beauty. And the roadshow allowed me to fulfill one of my dreams, which is I always wanted to be a rock star when I was younger. I wrote all these songs and I was playing in bars and it is pretty much impossible to make a living doing that. Um, but this way I've been able to incorporate both, which is amazing and, and fun. And my music's getting out there. And then doing it with friends all comes together to be an amazing experience. So this is a song about they, those crazy people in the shadows who really hate freedom and really love censorship. Decide what can go on YouTube, what can what you can say and do, and who we fight and who we bomb and who we say is bad. So it goes like this. Taught that speech was free. Birmingham to burn and man, you can speak any truth you see. Lately things have changed, they say I can't speak truth no more. And I'm just sitting here wondering who they are working for. See, they gonna kick me off of YouTube. 
Yes, I say 9-11's just another day And they delete my friends on Facebook Unless I pretend the socialism's A-OK -okay. And they are gonna shadow ban my Twitter Unless I tweet the Kim Trails of Perrier And finally they'll ban everything I've got to say As they kill free speech in the USA I'll fight for free speech in the USA It's my right, free speech in the USA Thank you folks, thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. When we all get together and we clump together and we are all aligned, we do not all have to be the same. But what happens when a bunch of hearts, anatomical human hearts, get within a close proximity of each other. Everybody is in joy. Everybody has a quite specific goal or intent involved. In this case, we are all really rooting for silver. We're rooting for smaller government. We're rooting for more of a tribal, wholesome approach, wholesome relationship with the land, with the earth. Even if our visuals of, of the future are a little bit different, we are all aligned because the heart speaks a language that we don't have words for. So when we get into these groups and all of our hearts entangle, we are literally programming the future timeline. So imagine that you have these meetups, you have them in a whole bunch of towns scattered all over the map, and you are, you are essentially just spreading this intention through your physical bodies, through your hearts, and, and just creating, you know, crystallizing a very specific timeline. So there can be no underestimating the importance, the potency of human vessels in groups. I feel like the folks that are at the heart of this, um, you know, the, the same people that have been with Bix for years. I talk to people that come over from, from the road to Ruda and they're like, oh, Jenny, I've been following Bix for forever, forever, you know? And I, I always make it a point to ask, especially the elder folks, you know, the older, the older generations that have been knowing about this, you know, we think we're coming into this and we're like, oh yeah, did you know this, this, this? And they're like, listen, kiddo, we've been talking about the Fed and this and that since before you were born, you know? But I ask them, I'm, I'm like, you know, you've seen a lot, you, you've got all this wisdom of the ages. Have you ever seen anything like this? Have, have we ever been at the threshold the way we are right now? And they're like, never. Like, this is it. They were like, this is it. This is it. I'm telling you, this is nothing like it's been ever. And it's just, and people are excited. I mean, to see all of the people that want to come and, and just be a part of of just this change that's going on. It's like a battery recharge because there's just all this energy there, all this, you know, just, just joy and love. And just when you bring those people together, you feel that energy, you know, the frequency that raises, you know, you're the connection and, you know, it's hard to explain, but it's, it's really kind of a spiritual thing. I mean, it really is. It activates something inside of you and, you know, and then Vix plays his music and then, you know, you hear people talking truth and that just rings, you know, deep inside of you and you realize what you're here for. I mean, you really do. I mean, it's, it's so important, you know, by for doing that. And I mean, doing all those shows and going on the road, it's very infectious. It really is. Once you get a taste of it, you're just like, wow, I'm alive. You know, and just all this other stuff there, you know, it's just, you know, it just brought me down and, you know, here I am to be in a state of living in truth all the time and to live that way and to be around people who are like that. I mean, how much different the world would be it's like, we can fight any battle. You know, there's nothing that can stop us. We can change the world. And, and you really feel that way at these events. And so it's, it's so very important what Bix is doing. There's nothing better right now that you could be doing. There's nothing better that I could be doing right now than doing what we're doing. There just isn't. What we try to do on the road to root is talk about what's true. And it might not be correct all the time, but it's what's true to us. And we 
and we explain it. Why should you own silver? We, we go through an explanation of why you own silver. Don't just tell me to buy silver. Don't just tell me to buy a cryptocurrency. Tell me why. And that's that's kind of what we try to do on the road to Ruta. I mean, for me personally, the road to Ruta, like it's now a part of my 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 journey, my story, my identity, my career. This has been by far the the catalytic, you know, essence here that changed everything. And I've gotten to talk to literally thousands of people, most of which from the road to Ruta. So I feel so intimately <laughs> entangled with the the idea, the concept, the lifeblood that is Road to Ruda. And so I've really gotten uh, a very deep understanding of what the Road to Ruda really is, you know, almost aside from, or I should say, in addition to Bix's original intent and dream, it has taken on a life of its own. The people that participate and put the energy in and really just, you know, believe in this so much. I know what those people are made of and I know what their plans are and I know what their dreams are. I know what makes them tick. I know what gets them excited. And it's just this ever growing, uh, just juggernaut of energy and, and potential. I mean, I think that this is really an expression, a manifestation of what it looks like when people come up with solutions. This is what it looks like when people decide they're going to take control of their situation. They're going to become empowered and they're going to go out and they're going to get into clumps, into groups of people and open those conversations and and do the the bold things. And I think that Bix is just, you know, with all his his song and dance, you know, with the guitar and the the whole thing, he is just an expression of that spirit that essence of freedom and be alternative because it works if you don't play their game do your own thing it works well you start with bitcoin and you know you know nothing you make your first wall and then you think you got something secure your private keys if you don't all your coins will be gone now you're a coiner and it's time to run on the bank and take the social net Cryptos are hard, you gotta get your feet wet, you gotta get your mind set for change. The way of the crypto warriors, changing our world day by day. The way of the crypto warriors, can't rely on the bankers, no way. The way of the crypto warriors, after all the crazy politics fade away. You got something to say Live a crypto warrior way Well, Bix has a different take on things than almost anyone I've ever met. He thinks outside the box. He sees things that no one is talking about. I find his take on the world fascinating, fresh, and different. And the bottom line is what has really attracted me to Bix, other than our friendship, he is the same guy in person as he is online and he's real. But what really attracted me to his work was that the stuff he was talking about was not the same old shit that you are seeing everywhere from everybody else. And it made you stop and think. And much of what I stopped and thought about related to what he was talking about made sense to me. And um, while we don't agree on everything, I think he is more spot on than most of the people that I follow. And more than anything, he is genuine and sincere. And to me, that that accentuates his beliefs. None of us are always going to be proven exactly right. But if we get 70, 80% of it right, and we do it in an honorable manner with integrity and honesty and um, good intentions, then you know, let the chips fall where they may. And everything that he talks about and tries to bring to the public is very well thought out and researched. He's not just coming up with these things in a dream state. He's doing the heavy lifting. He's working. He's bringing the numbers. He's showing you what's going on on Comex. He's showing you what's going on with the commercial banks. He's backing things up with evidence. And some things require a little bit of thought and and an extension of that thought and to play it out. But 
like I said, he's fresh, he's different, he's unique, he's honest. And, uh, and to me, all of those things really uh, made me want to stop and listen and, and uh, become friends with the guy that um, I'm proud to be associated with. Bix is part of my, uh, my news site. Instead of letting somebody tell me the news, I have other people that I go out and find that give me. And so Bix is part of that, especially when it's dealing with uh, silver and cryptos and, and what's going on in the market manipulation. Because he gets down there and just shows it to you. And as an economist, I really appreciate that because he's, you know, he shows you the, the statistics behind the scene. If you want to learn about that, there, Bix is there to teach you and you, can, and you can watch it as it moves along. It's raising awareness. That's one spreading that consciousness because as things get rougher and tougher and uh, more unstable, people are realizing the, the narrative they've been getting off the evening news is just a pack of lies. If COVID didn't get you that concept, well, the other economic things are, are doing it. And uh, there's just a general awakening. And so if people go out there looking, they can find people like Bix and uh, all those others that, uh, that can give you that different perspective. And you don't have to use fear porn to spread a message. You know, we talk about the dangers, and the bad things, but you know, it's, it's not about, oh, it's coming and there's nothing you can do. It's like, no, you can, uh, you have a choice. You can, you know, you can prepare yourself and what could have been maybe bad for other people could be good for you. What Bix is doing. And I mean, he takes a lot of abuse. You know, you're talking about, you know, how, you know, the trolls and the people who just knock him down. And it's like, you know, any little thing, we're going to hit him. We're going to hit him. We're going to hit him. He's in the public eye. And to know that what you're fighting for is worth it and to just ignore all of that and to just go out there and do it and have the support of good people around you that, that allow that to happen. That's a life goal, a life purpose. And I think he's, you know, and I talked about meeting him in 2018 and, and I've seen what has happened since then. He's a warrior. And I mean, I just see him armoring up and it's almost like nothing can stop me. There's nothing that's going to stop him from doing what he's going to do. And it's just, it's a wonderful thing to see because so many times human beings just, just don't do that and don't just say, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to spread the word of truth. I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to fight for what is right. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. And you just wash it off. You can't let those people bring you down. He doesn't let that happen. That's an inspiration to everybody, everybody that's ever followed him. And I know so many people, well, how did you get into crypto? Well, you know, I was following Bix Weir, you know, and I mean, you don't know how many times I hear that. Everything he does, it inspires people. There's nothing better, nothing more than you can do in this life that inspires someone else to be better, you know, to be a better person. And he inspires people. So I, you know, I, it's my honor to be a part of that. It really is. I don't remember exactly when we originally met him. I was very impressed with him right from the get off because his knowledge of currencies and silver and gold and, and the illusion and, and how he lived in the belly of the beast for years, you know, actually doing like banking. And what impressed me most probably was his, his ability and willingness to walk away from that life. He's not afraid to say that he was wrong. And he's not afraid to plant his feet when he, when he thinks he's right. He doesn't want you to blindly listen to what he says. He wants you to do your own research and educate yourself to a point where it's obvious to you the truth, your truth. Bix gives so much to the community and Amy and the whole Rotoruda family and crew and the work and the effort, the work that goes on behind the scenes, every minute that they're on the road, every minute that he's on stage, every message that he speaks. He's really out there to talk to everybody that's there because you're the show. You're the reason that we're all showing up because you're the movement. And so I think that's what's really important. That's what's really inspiring is that how much heart there is behind the road to Ruta and the road show is how much they care about the people. And that's why they get on the road and do what they do. And so I think I think that's one of the most inspiring things about it is you can really see that, how much they care about the people. Thought I heard people say, Amy, my silver now, tomorrow's another trade day.
smoking naked sharks to hide. Pay me my silver now. Pay me. Pay me. Pay me. Pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. CFTC, you better shut it down. hearing Bix's name for years in this community. Where I met in the space tarot divination astrology, we've kind of been over here and then Bix and his type of people, you know, more geared towards the financial system and those structures, we've for the most part remained separated. Um, it was only really around 2016 when we all just kind of naturally started to gravitate towards each other, you know, multiple groups involved. I, just within the last couple of years, I noticed a lot of readers and diviners, more esoteric people, find, find themselves working with others in a different space that might have seemed unrelated, but they were completely connected the whole time. I really got brought into the fold a couple of years ago when he had really decided to take things and just kind of expand his understanding of, of the world. So then we got to start doing our work together and that the rest is history, man. The rest is a story still being written, you know. The information that we get out there is so filtered and watered down that it just keeps everyone anesthetized and uh, not seeing what's really happening. And Bix opened my eyes to many things. And I think people really need to understand the value of alternative media and a guy like Bix and the work that he's doing. Because uh, if all you do is get your, your news from even a place like Fox News, you are grossly misinformed to where we are and to uh, what's happening in, in, especially in this case, in the financial cycles of the world. And I will tell you, I know for a fact he puts his money where his mouth is, and so do I. And, and it makes it much easier for me to get behind him and his thoughts because I see firsthand where he's putting his money. And he is as genuine as the day is long. And after being in an industry for 32 years, I've seen all sorts of people, a lot of bad guys, a lot of good guys. But if you're genuine and you're honest and you're sincere, you're at the top of my list. And, and, uh, Bix is at the very, very top of that list. It's been, let's see, when did I first hear of him? It's been several years ago. I've been listening to him for quite a few years and, you know, following what he did. When I first met him in person, yeah, I think it was 2018 at the first Litecoin Summit. I'm sure it was because I remember at the time I'd say, hey, how you doing, Bix? You know, I went up and I gave him a big hug and he was kind of like... You know, almost like, oh, you know, well, who's this guy, you know, kind of thing. And, you know, what I love is I've seen the evolution of Bix in that process, you know, because here we are almost four years later and, and just how he has come out on the road, and done these things. And, you know, he always wanted to kind of go out and sing and, 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 and entertain and perform. And now he's taken that feeling of what, you know, he knew he wanted to do and was good at and what he was cut out to do. And now he's taken that and made that into something that can help humanity, you know, all of humanity. And I've seen his heart soften and I've just seen him and every time I see him, I hug him and we're almost crying every time, you know, and it's just because, I mean, it's just, we know we're doing the right things. We know that we were born for this moment and we find more and more people who were really wandering boats and now they're seeing the light and we're just finding that, you know what, we're born for this time. We're here for this time. And in my mind, there's nothing more, horrible than going through life and looking back and saying, you know, I had an opportunity to do something. I wanted to do something. I had the ability to do something, but I didn't do something. I think it was Henry David Thoreau who said the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't lead a life of quiet desperation because you can make a difference. You got to do something. You know, it doesn't matter how small it is, the impact, the butterfly effect that it can have. You just got to do something. And I guess that's the one thing that I would say to everybody out there is, you know, you can offer something, do it. I mean, it doesn't matter how small you think it is. It makes an impact somewhere. It changes somebody's life that you don't even realize. You just got to do it. If you believe it in your heart, trust yourself and just do it. Hey, the crypto love. 
Are you wondering what to do? Where to spend your money that'll grow the most for you? Well, he told you all these choices. Afraid you're gonna lose. A token corner platform, you know you gotta choose. The bank is out to get you. The con is so deranged. Black one is a rack one as a means of exchange. Well, Charlie Lee's the man, the one that you can trust. The nicest guy in crypto and all of that's a must. Well, he sold all of his black coin, donation to the cause. But he still works his ass off, fixing all the flaws. Cause Charlie has a plan where bankers can't make change. Blackcorn is a rack coin as a means of exchange. Well, Blackcorn is a rack coin as a means of exchange. It buy you a cup of coffee. When lightning is arranged, my bank is on my cell phone. Walking in his store, scan the code, no time to load, I'm walking out the door, and every crypto's got a purse. Things about to change. Black corn is a rack corn as a means of exchange. <laughs> What's it like to be married to him? I I'm gonna have to say, well, <laughs> it's it's just like being in any other kind of relationship, honestly. He's constantly optimistic. That's that's one thing that I can say. Every day is just kind of something different with him. Some days I have to like kind of like really like rein him in because <laughs> he's gone off on some tangent or some, you know, crazy reel. I mean, he's pretty transparent. There's nothing that that Bix really hides of himself to to anybody, really. Um, what you see is what you get from Bix. He's charismatic. He is very passionate. He's very giving. He's very loving. Honestly, I, I actually, I kind of did like want to be married to somebody who was like Bix, like semi-famous, you know, somebody who does know music, who can write his own songs. He is, you know, like the teenager, you know, like, oh my God, you know, I want to be married to a rock star kind of a thing. <laughs> That's his bread and butter right there that's when you see him for real is when he's up on that stage and he's just belting it out and he's got the crowd going and he's got a song that everybody knows how to sing and you just see it you he starts glowing and that's what the road show is doing for him too <laughs> getting him up on stage and singing his songs it feels really strange to be like pseudo famous kind of famous but kind of not famous you know from the work i've done on youtube it's interesting because a lot of people know me because I'm pretty open and honest in the morning, uh, but I don't know a lot of people because I don't get to see them. They hear me talk every day. I'll tell them about my life and what I think about what's going on. And then to meet them in person is, is awesome for me because I get to see them instead of them just watching me in the morning. So I love it. You know, we've, we've been, Amy and I have been recognized all over the place. Now we'll be driving through Colorado and pull into, we pulled into a good Sam's place and the the cash register person said, oh, my God, you're Big Square and Amy Weir. Stuff like that cracks me up. And it, it's great. I refer to him as an ancient child because in so many ways he has the wisdom of the ages. Like he's seen a lot. He's done a lot. He's been on both sides of the, this thing. You know, being in the banking world, he knows how they operate. And I can appreciate that. But then he's also a total rebel, renegade, go anything against the grain. And, you know, he's he's a rock star, man. He is a complete anomaly in my life, in my world. And it's just incredible. I feel such a great deal of, of love. Um, and it's like, <laughs> but then sometimes I'm like, oh, fix, you know, like, <laughs> it's just. He's uh he's hilarious. It's that childlike energy where once he gets going, you know, nobody can you gotta just let him go. You gotta just let Big shine, you know, like the rock star that he is. Nobody well, has an any an governing an authority doctor. over human beings. Right. Human beings are sovereign. We come yes. our soul come into this world. I got this, baby. Our soul comes into this world free of any sovereign agreements that have been Agreed. I can give you 50 different yeah, agreements we don't that were filed. It. So wait, wait, wait. You control it. Don't you say you don't control it. We you do. You are a change. sovereign individual in the United States of America. We are a free country. How dare you say money. that you don't control your own fiscal response? This, ugh, this gets me because I have so many people saying, oh, this, this uh, agreement tells me I have to do this. Fuck that. 
I say bullshit to all of it. You know what I say? I you are a sovereign individual lives. that you can decide what you want. Don't listen to government. Don't listen to a, a Nesra, a Jesra, a, a Zongri valuation. Bullshit to all of it. Yeah. At the end it, of the day, those controllers are not going to decide our life. We are going to decide our life. That's Fuck everything else. Yes. And I don't use the F word all the time. I'm using it right now. Fuck that. Your understanding of what yes. controls you we, is what limits you. Yes, we need to quit. Here we go! Yeah. So this is the third of this uh, little event that we're doing. And the first two were great. I loved them. I had a blast. But I didn't lose it. <laughs> and, and Paige told me the other day, she says... Bix, your customers love the show, but they say you're so mellow. Tonight I lost it. I lost it just a little bit, but you need to lose it. We're at a, a point in our nation's history where everybody needs to lose it just a little bit. Assert your freedom. When somebody lies to you just a little bit, it means they're supporting a bigger lie. Don't let anybody lie to you anymore. When the United States of America said there's no bio labs in Ukraine, and then we find out there's 19 bio labs that the USA supported and Fauci funded, we need to get pissed off and destroy the illusion. The time for nice guys is over, long over. But one thing I can say about him is that he cares about this so much. His passion is freeing silver and freeing the minds of of people that you know they really they want to do the right thing they have always known that there was something wrong but a lot of these people have been rule players you know it's too easy to want to just play the rules play the game so that you don't get squashed and what i think bix has really attempted to do is empower people um, and let them recognize all of these tools, all of this information that they do have that they can utilize to get free and to, at the very least, understand these systems of enslavement. And so it's been enlightening. It's been hilarious. I think Bix is awesome and we're all very lucky to have him, myself included. And I'm just grateful every day that he gave me a chance to, to do my thing and help out. He's helped me grow as a um, as a show host, as a friend, as a person, as an owner of a soul. He's honest to a point where you want to be like him. You know, you're like, okay, this guy here is strong in what he believes. And you got to envy that type of knowledge because he doesn't just blindly, you know, say things. If you check out his website, roadtoruda.com, people are going to look back on that and go, holy Jesus, this thing's an encyclopedia. He has so much reference. He's written so much about it. You may be able to, you know, argue with him on generalities or like economic philosophy. But when it comes down to, I mean, documentation, he's got to beat. Knowledge is power. And to find real information, to gain real knowledge these days is a little bit tougher. So it's nice to have someone like Bix who knows where to dig and brings information every, every, almost every day or for sure every week, he will bring something that I'll be like, damn, how did he figure that out? Where did he come up with that? Or and I use a lot of what he says in, in my own talking points. So um, he's definitely on my go-to list. And, um, you know, I think everyone out there uh, could do a whole lot worse than starting their morning with a cup of chaga coffee listening to our good brother Bix. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for thinking about freedom. Thank you for thinking about getting your assets in your own possession. Thank you for thinking about silver and fighting the people who don't want you to think this way. And ultimately, that's what we're doing. We're fighting people who don't want us to think a certain way. And all you guys, by being here, are pledging your allegiance to freedom and getting in the fight. And I love that. 
most of our government is controlled by other people, other entities, and they are trying to destroy our way of life. And that's what I'm fighting against. And that's what a lot of you out there are fighting against, I believe, as well. They're going to tell us what to think, how to think, how to dress, what to teach in schools. Put a mask over your face if you're a kid and you have 0. .0000000 chance of dying of COVID. They want you to think, oh, Democrats suck, Republicans suck. CNN sucks, Fox sucks. Their idea is to split up our country, split up America. But don't let anybody tell you what to do. You need to, you need to grab your sovereign right as a human being and say, I'm a human being. I'm not, I'm not gonna be told what to do by a government, by a political party, by an ideology, any of it. We are the freest country in the world and we have to fight for that freedom every day. It is, not a, it is not a gift that you just sit there and say, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm free, and then you can't go outside. There's so many things about what has been done to America that hopefully, hopefully we've learned lessons along the way. I hate to tell everybody, but we're all going to die one day. And it's not about how you die, it's about how you live. And I live in America, and I want to be free for the rest of my life. I was born on the 4th of July, 1964. I am a, absolutely an American baby. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I'm not an independent. I'm not even a libertarian. I'm an American. Well, I think the most important thing for new people who join this movement is to go back to the founding documents of the United States of America. We were founded on these principles that are just so important and we've strayed so far away from it. Number one being freedom of speech. And without freedom of speech, psh, you can forget about it. There's a reason our founding fathers put that into our founding documents. It's because without that, the United States of America will just be another dictatorship, will be just another system where the people have nothing, no say in anything. And we see so many lies coming out of the government today and the curtailing of freedom of speech that has been going on unbelievably uh, in the United States of America and completely against our constitution. Um, the curtailing of that has completely changed the view of some people about what our country is and what we should stand for. Freedom of speech is the ability to stand there and listen to people you don't agree with. And for the multimedia companies, the social media companies to try and steer speech, I think is the worst thing that could happen to America. And I think we need to fight that tooth and nail and all the new people out there I would say the first thing you do, if you hear the term, it's a conspiracy theory, that's when you got to dig in. Don't run away from it. That is a, it is a saying that is meant to turn off your brain and say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. That, that means you don't even have to think about it. Don't worry. It's been, it's been vetted. It's been uh, decided it was wrong. Don't do that. You hear those words, it's a conspiracy theory. That's when you dive in. That's when you do the research. You can't be asleep. You, you have to be vigilant for your family. It's, we're past the point of saying, well, I don't do politics. I'm not involved in politics. You we're past that point of saying, I don't want to be responsible for politics. You know, there's that saying, you know, oh, you know, don't talk about politics, religion and something else. They don't want you talking about those things because they want you ignorant. They, there's the saying about give them bread and circus because they want you to be stupid. They want you to drink beer and stick your hands down your pants and watch football and let them run the world so that they can take everything you have. And that is what we have to say no about. We have to say, no, it is my business, how you spend my money. And if you're gonna ask me to pay taxes, then I get to have a say about it. And that's what we have to say no about. And we have to say enough. And we have to say that we have a vote and we have a say in it. We have to think differently, um, but I do think that freedom movement is there, and I think it's empowering people to break away from the system and say no and say enough. I'm tired of when I've when I've been lazy and said, "Oh, I don't want to have an opinion about it. You do it for me. I'm too dumb to plan my own future. I'm too dumb to plan my own retirement." you know, you do it for me, then here I am left with them printing it to infinity and, you know, 
in trouble, but if I'm going to take responsibility for it, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take it back. I'm willing to do the hard work. I'm willing to educate myself and yeah, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to take the responsibility. I'm willing to take, you know, get my hands dirty and I might make a couple mistakes along the way, but I would rather have that and have the freedom to make those choices and make those mistakes and find my own path. And that's what I think the freedom movement is. And I think enough Americans want that. Like I'm tired of somebody else making the decision for me. Give me a steering wheel and let me fail or let me win, but let me do it on my own. Here's a true story about a man just like you. He worked his whole life, he was honest and true. He built up a nest egg the way they said to. Invest in the market, money works for you. Well, everything was fine. Picking the winners every time He started to believe He could make dollars out of dimes Little did he know He's being primed for a fall See the riggers let you play Then the riggers steal the ball We want free markets Not a million phantom trades Till everyone's honest We're gonna lose what we made we gotta shut down exchanges Till they trade one for one Free markets Are the road to freedom I said free markets Are the road to freedom Let me tell you, life on the road with your family and RVs is a blast. It might sound a little strange at the beginning, you know, having to live in a little box, but it brings you closer. And the adventures and the wrong turns and the problems with the sewage in an RV, it all adds to the experience in a great way. I love being on the road with Paige and Josh and Amy and Buddy and anybody else who dares to venture to jump in an RV and come with us. The more the merrier. That life experience is something you don't find usually. You'll go on vacations with your family and you'll spend some time on the beach and things like that. But uh, really having to not only navigate how to get from place to place, but to set up shows and then the relaxing after a show is, is actually really fun. And I wouldn't trade that part for the world. It's a family bonding experience that I think everybody should experience at least a few times in their life. My most favorite part of all of it, honestly, is after the shows, because we put so much energy out into the world that we're able just to kind of come back together as a family. If it's just, you know, the four of us in our RVs, or if we actually have a big house full of our crypto family, it's just so nice to have those moments of like, wow, we pulled this off. We did this, you know, we got to meet so many people and that energy exchange is just amazing to me. But I think my favorite and, and obviously like back at the house, late night conversations, everybody just really showing, you know, a different side. I love that. I freaking love that. But as far as what I share with the road to Ruta people on the Freedom Road show there's a moment when I feel myself lock into the collective of whomever is in the vicinity. So everybody that is, is looking or, you know, interfacing with me as I'm speaking, I feel a kind of force field. It's like that force field is already there, but I feel the connection. It's like a click. And I'm like, okay, we're all entangled now. But that's gotta be my favorite is when I feel the hearts of, of everyone that's there and is really in it there, you know, with me, with us. And, and I'm just like, yeah, like I, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, just, and we were pulling cards, like Bix was like, 
we'll have people ask you questions and you can pull the cards. And I was like, okay, <laughs> all right, we're doing it. You know, I, I'm down for whatever, really. But uh, that's my, that was my favorite. And then obviously back at the house, um, Light Queen Lisa is a freaking hoot. She is just the life of the party. My favorite part is probably, oh no, I know exactly what my favorite part is. The after party, after the show, because I love to sing. <laughs> Amy cooks us all dinner and Amy's a great cook. And she does make me eat a lot of vegetables, which I'm not really happy about. But we all eat a great meal together and we sit down at the table like a big family. And then Bix gets out his guitar. We talk about our best parts of the weekend and when we're singing and laughing and that's my favorite part. So that's why I'm out here. Uh, that's why I dragged my family out here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Amy who checked everybody in. Thank God for Amy. She puts up with me on a daily basis. My daughter Paige over there collecting raffle tickets. It's an amazing job. Check out the merchandise site. Paige put that together. There's a great Let's Go Brandon hat on the Road to Rivers site. And her boyfriend Josh is running around doing the audio video. So we're all traveling around in a couple RVs and, and going from town to town, talking about freedom, singing about freedom. Working with family for me is a, is a gift and a challenge at the same time because I come from a different world. of I, I've been in banking a zillion years and, and we all have our different ways of working, but learning about how people work, learning what brings out the best in people is is fun. I never wanted to be a boss and I'm, I wouldn't even say I'm a boss. I'm just doing my little thing and I chime in on occasion and Everybody in the family is motivated to, number one, do the job, but number two, have a good time while you're doing that job. And it's so hard to find in a work environment. Um, so this is encapsulating that work environment with the play environment, all bunched together in an RV and crazy things happen. And it's amazing and fun and scary at times, but you look back at it and these are the times you remember in life. I would like to tell everybody, come out out and join us. Make this movement bigger. Every day we can make it bigger and bigger, and that way we win. <laughs> Ultimately, we have won anyway, but the bigger we get, the more people we bring along to celebrate the victory of freedom and independence and liberty and the things we fight for. I think the Freedom Roadshow, I think we started out small and we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The message is important. The message is big. It's The message is gigantic. Freedom of speech, especially, but freedom from, from government intervention is the big one. And that message resonates with Americans and with people around the world. We, the people, are not going to take it. We're standing up now, and we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger, while the opposite is happening to governments around the world. They're getting weaker and weaker, and they'll get smaller and smaller over time. And that's what we need, and that's why I'm out there day to day doing this uh, this crazy thing, the freedom movement is big and it is getting bigger. I'm looking forward to going out on the road. I wish I could do it 24 seven, but uh, you know, life gets in the way, but going out on the road again, uh, this summer is the plan. Can't wait for it. It's going to be so much fun. Make sure you get out there. If we're even close to where you're going, or you can always fly in and, and make a weekend of it. Cause it's not only is it educational, it's exciting and it's a good party. So make sure you get there. I said the free markets are the road to freedom. Thank you for coming out, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks, for coming out tonight. This was the Freedom Road Show. I hope you feel more free than you felt when you before you walked in. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Oh, my God, so fun. My God, thank you for coming out and expressing your freedom and fight, keep up the fight. Freedom is not given to you, it is earned. And you have to fight for it to keep it. I do see a time when America won't have political parties anymore, which is wonderful. Uh, truth and honesty are what we need to go to, anywhere you can find it. Um, so that's, that's kind of the overall 
meaning of this tour. Look for truth and honesty. Um, but always be aware that people are trying to split us apart, and there's no reason to be split apart. If you're an American, you're an American. And you're allowed to have your beliefs whichever way they go. Um, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to the Freedom Road Show. woo So thank you, folks, and um, we'll see you at the next road show. Thanks a lot. All right, it's recording. Wait, where are we? Wait, is this on? I can't see us. No, oh yeah, right there. This one? Yeah. Oh. There we go. Hey, Rotorita followers, Josh and Paige here. We just wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who came out to the road show. We had such a great time meeting each and every one of you, and we sincerely hope that you had a great time meeting other members and maybe learning something new. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this documentary. It was such an amazing road show. And I hope that you guys got a little bit of the feeling of what it was like to attend if you didn't attend already by watching this. So thank you for watching. Yeah. So Josh, you sorted through hours of footage. You were videotaping the whole time we were on the road and then making this whole documentary. So I'm really curious as to why did, why did you feel compelled to make this documentary? Oh, man, that's a really good question. You know, the, the first time Bix even talked about the Freedom Road show, um, just the idea of going out there, being a part of the freedom movement by going city to city, meeting people, singing the songs that he's written, spreading the message of the road to Ruta, the whole idea of it, the whole concept felt so awesome and strong to me. It's something that I felt was meaningful for not just the road to Ruta and the members, but for people just coming into the space of freedom. And so when I heard him talk about that, it made me, inspired me and made me want to be a part of it and help in any way I could. And coming from uh, the video background I have, I wanted to document the whole process, the whole experience so that not just the people who attended got to be a part of the movement, but other people as well get to experience what it's like to be at the road show and what the message of the road to Ruta, the message Bix Weir spreads. And also to document that in this point in time, you know, this is a very pivotal moment in history where there's so much change, there's so many things going on. That there are people out there like Bix and all the guest speakers that we had who are out there trying to convey a message of freedom, convey a message of personal sovereignty and taking our power back. And so to me, I wanted just to have that message come through. I wanted to have that inspiration come through to people the way that I was inspired by these people. And so really that was why I decided to pack up my cameras and help make a documentary with Road to Ruta. So mm -hmm. thanks for asking. Well, it's a beautiful documentary and it's very inclusive of you to want to spread this message. And I think at the end of the day, this message of freedom that Bix and all the other people who joined the Road to Ruta um, are, are preaching it's, it's the most important thing right now. And so the most important thing that you can do is get to these meetups and meet other like-minded people and have discussions and have a sharing of ideas. And, um, and thank you so much for, to Josh for creating this documentary and making sure that this message is spread. Of course. And it wasn't all me. It was such a team effort from everyone on the road to Ruta, from you, from me, from Bix, from Amy, and also all of the guest speakers that we had join us on the road. And also all the people who came out because a lot of people traveled really far to come be a part of these meetups. And so it's thank you to all of you guys for being a part of this amazing experience. And for me, it was such a touching moment, a touching time being out on the road and getting to meet so many people and see just the state of the freedom movement in person. And so to me, I was very inspired. And so for you, Paige, how was going out on the road and seeing all the people? How did that change your opinion of what's going on or change your opinion of how the freedom movement is moving along? Great question. It was incredibly inspiring. And I think right now the powers that be like to tell us there's no one else out there like you. There aren't people who think like you. There aren't people who believe the same things as you. And they try to tell us that the numbers are dwindling. And in reality, this movement is massive. And there are so many people who are like-minded that want to come together and want to learn and they want to have these, these discussions. And the Freedom Roadshow is a place to do that. And being in the roadshow and having these discussions, it honestly, Ch changed my outlook on 
society and where we're at right now. And it made me feel much more powerful and grounded in this freedom movement and where we're, where we're going in the future. And I think that's obviously in large part to everyone who came out. You make the difference. It's you. At the end of the day, it's a personal choice that we all have to make to stand up for freedom. And in doing so, we are making the world a better place. And I think that everyone that came to the roadshow, I know in my heart that those people are going out into their communities, talking to their friends, making an actual change. And, and at the end of the day, that's how we make even bigger change on, on a more massive scale. And I have so much faith and there's so much energy behind this freedom movement. And I have nothing but the highest of hopes for where we're going. And thank you for asking that question. And I hope that in watching this and in coming to the road shows, you all also feel this level of, of security and, um, and just faith in where we're going as, as a movement and as a community. I love that. And if you haven't checked out the road show yet, be sure to get out there because we're going to be on the road again in just a couple of weeks. And so come out, join the movement, become part of the Road to Ruta family. And until then, check out some of these behind the scenes footage from the road show.
Well, we're heading down south, taste of freedom in our mouth, setting silly rules from the government tools. From every land we come, it don't matter where you're from, by land or sea or air, fuck the borders, we don't care. We're fighting for our lives, for our freedom in the sun. Everybody singing, knock a poco, here we come. Knock a poco, here we come, and knock a poco.